Hey guys, it's me Drew, and I am here to do a favorites video. Now, I'm not doing a monthly favorites video, I'm just doing what I'm loving right now, because for me, I don't change up, I mean, I change up like my candles and stuff like that every month, but I don't really change up my skincare all that often, maybe a piece here and there, but nothing too crazy. By the way, how do you like, I'm representing the queen, Adele, right here, I should just have her like this, just staring at you guys right here but anyway so I have so many really 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 exciting products to start with so I'm gonna start with beauty products I mean these are all really like beauty products is the way shampoo and conditioner from way um, way is Jen Atkins brand who is the live-in hairstylist for Kylie Jenner um, she created these products, and let me tell you, they've been raved in about by every YouTuber, every influencer, everybody basically loves these products. So, I definitely need to figure out what's going on with on my camera, because it's very, very white, unless I hold it up here. But anyway, so these are the products. Um, the shampoo, okay, complaint. This does not stay, if you can see. Like, well, obviously you don't twist off the bottle. That's just for decoration. I mean, but I will say, after I drop it, I don't know where it went. But anyway, this smells so good. The shampoo is like, I almost want to say, like this does not look, it still looks nice, but not as nice. Um, the conditioner smells amazing. It's very, very floral. And I am the odd one in the bunch of youtubers and i love floral fragrances i know a lot of youtubers don't really like floral fragrances but to me i love them and especially in hair care i find that they are phenomenal i put a lot a lot of product in my hair so in the in the morning this hair i don't know what's going on with it today it like needs to be it's like falling to the side but anyway i find that um I really need to get my hair super, super clean in the morning, so I always look for a shampoo that is clarifying. I know you shouldn't be doing that every day, but I have a lot of hair, super thick hair. doesn't seem to affect me either way, but so far, this month, I've been loving the Way Clean Hair and Conditioner. Let's see if I pull this up closer. All right, next product is a May Lindstrom product. So this is the May Lindstrom The Problem Solver Mask. Now, I'm gonna open this, it's gonna be like puffed with a little bit of smoke. If you can see in there, it's like a powder. So May Lindstrom line is amazing. Toff Cam, or Toff Cam, um, he's amazing. Caroline Hyren, Stephanie Nicole, those are some of my favorite YouTubers. I'll link them down below. But they I, they fall in love, fell in love with the May Lindstrom line, so I knew I had to try it. This is priced, this is $100 for this mask. But you use a tablespoon of the powder with a little under a tablespoon of water. So this guy's going to last you forever. I did purchase her awesome bowl and the brush, which I take the end of the brush, mix together. It turns into like a mousse, and I paint it on my face and let it sit for 45 minutes. It's amazing. It has bamboo charcoal in there. So it's going to be very, very clear or very clarifying, very healing to the skin, which is something that I love from her line is all that healing because i know whenever you put a mud mask on you might be like mud masks they're gonna dry me out they're gonna get tight now this does get super super tight it starts really dark black and it fades to a gray after the 45 minutes i jump in the shower with this guy but it does not feel tight it is awesome now cleanser wise i'm almost out of this this is the tatcha classic polished rice enzyme powder after i'm done with this i actually want to purchase the deep one this is awesome. I notice this when I don't clean it. I've been using the Murad Clarifying Cleanser with my Clarisonic morning and night, and every time I cleanse my face in the shower, I use about a teaspoon of this in my hand, the powder, add a little bit of water, rub my hands together, massage all over my face and neck, rinse it in about 10 seconds. Don't let this product sit on your skin. It's enzymes that are going to eat away at the dead skin, and it's exfoliating, but you don't feel it. It feels like you're literally rubbing nothing, like a light foam on your face, almost like you take a top of a latte and massage that on your face is what this feels like. It is incredible. They have the Deep, which is good for oily, acne-prone skin, which is what I want to purchase. Um, this is the normal combination. They didn't have the varieties when I bought it. Then they have Gentle, which is good for dry skin. But definitely pick this up. This Tatcha Polish Trace Enzyme Powder is amazing. Next is a bittersweet product because it's sadly been discontinued. And let me tell you, as much as I 
like what it replaced, like what it what it changed. They cha they replaced this with it. I don't love as much, and you can see already from this corner, you're going to know what it is. It is my Holy Grail Sunday Riley Artemis Hydroactive Cellular Face Oil. They replaced this with UFO, and let me tell you, UFO is nothing like this. This, Stephanie Nicole nailed it perfectly why they discontinued it. People don't like the smell. And she, just like me, believes skincare is like medicine almost. I mean, it's stuff you're putting on your face to help solve a problem. So you obviously, who cares what it smells like? And I would rather them spend the money on ingredients than on fragrance. And Sunday Riley does that for most of the products. I will say her newer products, throw on some shade, have fragrance, which sucks. And they're leaning away from her amazing products. Now, I just want you to see some ASMR video in here. But look at this. It is a thick, goopy, lemon-scented serum, as they like to describe it. To me, it smells like lemon chicken. Really interesting. has lemon myrtle and lemon iron bark in there. Um, those are both not lemons, actually. They are medicinal plants, which is interesting. It's like tea tree, but my skin does not react well to tea tree oil. It reacts really well to this. The last step in my skincare routine, morning and night, is Artemis oil. About four drops, four to five drops. I will put a couple more drops at night, but lately I've not because this is all I have left. It's about half a bottle, and they don't make it anymore. I did just order a new one from netaporte.com. They still had some left, which I'm really excited about. Um, I ordered two bottles of it, so I'm going to keep one and savor them until they're absolutely gone, which really, really sucks. I hope Sunday brings this out, maybe limited edition or something. It just... It stinks when you find something that really, really works for you, and then it went away. Oh, it's really, really nice for clarifying the skin. It really just makes you look healthy. Like, I don't look oily. I don't feel oily. Just look, have a healthy glow, and your skin just looks really, really good. The next product is a love-hate relationship with it. It is the Herbivore Botanicals Moon Fruit Super Fruit Night Treatment. And you probably know why I hate it. It's the smell. For one, it is this deep, deep purple cream. Um, I use this when I'm super, super lazy. Um, I don't use this all the time, even though I should. Um, if I'm really, really lazy, I will find if I don't like use my products at night and just fall asleep without washing my face, my skin looks crappy the next day, and I don't like that. So if I don't feel like putting on a serum and a moisturizer and a lotion and all this, I put this on, massage it in after I wash my face, and go to bed. It smells like ylang lang straight up ylang lang and I hate that smell with a passion, and this smells just like it. I do know they have a new one. It's like a grapefruit and lavender or something. I'm definitely going to have to try it, but again, I just I just talked about skincare should not smell good, but this smells nasty. It works really well, though. Next skincare sort of makeup y is Boy Brow from Glossier. You guys know I love this product. I don't have it in now, but I love this product to death. It is just absolutely perfect. It's, let me see if you can see the applicator. It is extremely small. You just comb through your brows and you're done. Love this product. The last three products, let's talk about a body cream. This lotion, the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, yeah, I thought it was Bum Bum too, but it is not. It is Boom Boom. I watched a video on it. Smells like caramel pistachio. It smells so good. Slather this all over my body when I get out of the shower. It's like this thick, thick cream, but it does not leave your skin greasy at all. It's really, really hydrating and really lovely. I'm obsessed with this. Definitely, I'm going to repurchase this. There's a kit where you get one of these, this is $45, with a shower cream, with like a shower gel for $25, but together they're $55, so I'm definitely going to do that when I run out of this. <coughs> and the last two products are from the same company, uh, Byredo. My favorite candle at the moment is the Byredo Bibliotech candle. They say it smells like a library. There's notes of peach and plum in here. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. I love it. I'm almost done, if you can see in there. I don't have a whole lot left. It's like, if I look up to the light, it's like down to here. I'm definitely going to have to get another one next time I'm in New York City. It's just so good. So good, you guys. I can't even describe it. It's like, mmm, it just smells so fresh. Whoops. 
I hate when my computer goes to sleep on me. There we go. And then perfume favorite of the month is the Byredo, um, Byredo unnamed perfume. So you can add a sticker to put the name of it, but I like having no name on it. I think that's kind of cool. I mean, it does have a name. It's called unnamed. And I'm going to pull up the notes of the fragrance on my phone real quick for you. Um, it's sold out a lot, but I'm sure you can find it somewhere. The notes are pink pepper, gin accord, orris stem, lush violet, tree moss, and fir balsam. But to me, I would say... I get the fur whenever you first spray it. So like a really earthy scent. Violet and orris, I don't really get. And I don't really like those fragrance notes. So I'm glad that I don't smell those a whole lot. The gin accord gives it that fizziness. And then the pink pepper... I love the note of pink pepper. It just adds some spiciness and some real headiness to the fragrance. So, really, really like this. This is like $230. Really exciting. I love that perfume. Um, the Bibliotech Candle, they do have it in a perfume. I know it is sold out at the New York store, and it's sold out on Byredo's website. It was definitely limited edition. Mine will be here today. I ordered it from the New York store, so I'm really, really excited. But anyway, guys, that was my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.